Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how you can get back your hacked Facebook account or how you can get your face your hacked Facebook account back or something along those lines. Anyway, there's a major problem with Facebook accounts and it seems like everyone is losing theirs and there may be reasoning behind that. Did you know that at least 300,000 Facebook accounts are hacked every day? That's a substantial number, so it really means that you need to take steps before you lose your Facebook account. Now, that isn't always possible, but we need to, or you need to be aware that criminals are targeting Facebook accounts. Now, why is that? Why are cyber criminals attacking Facebook accounts? Well, there's a lot of reasons why this happens. Well, number one, you have to understand that cybercrime is a human problem, and criminals understand that people do not do a good job of protecting their Facebook accounts. And there's a lot of information that can be obtained from your Facebook account. If you are an individual or a business who uses Facebook for marketing purposes, you may be boosting your Facebook posts. Well, if you're boosting your Facebook post, then you have a credit card on file with that Facebook account that criminals can use in order to steal your hard earned money. The other reason is that since cybercrime is a human problem and many cyber attacks are based in phishing, criminals will access your Facebook account to get access to your followers, which allows them to send out a variety of malicious phishing schemes that will trick them into giving up their personal information. So, also, n other than tricking, criminals can take over your Facebook account and send out phishing schemes, making it seem like it's from you, ruining your reputation, but allowing them to profit in some sick fashion. So, next, we have to talk about has your Facebook account been hacked or has it been cloned? Now, there is a big difference between a hacked Facebook account and a cloned Facebook account. So let's quickly talk about this. Now, if your Facebook account has been cloned, which is a lot of times the case, this simply means that criminals will set up a duplicate Facebook account that matches your own. They can see who you're connected with. So it's very easy in this day of, are we friends on Facebook or did you block me or delete me without any notification, criminals can slip in and trick your followers into connecting with your Facebook account and then they will get tricked with a scheme. Now, if your Facebook account is cloned, it's very easy for you to let your friends know that, or if your friends notify you that you have a cloned account, it's easy for them to report that cloned account. Nothing you really need to do on your end other than to hide your friends list, which we'll talk about in a few. The next step or the next thing that can happen to your Facebook account is that it can actually get hacked. Now, when your Facebook account is hacked, that means you don't have access to your Facebook account. You can't log in. You try to use the backup measures to gain access to your account, but criminals have changed them. So you are stranded and there's no way that you can log in to your Facebook account. Again, your friends may mention to you via regular mail, since they can't message you on Facebook, that they're getting odd messages from you. If this is the case, your friends can still report that Facebook account, but chances are that the criminal may have a different number, may have a different setup for the two-factor authentication. So in Facebook's AI mind, and yes, AI runs Facebook, they think that you are actually the account owner, which is a challenge. Now, let's say that your account has been hacked because if it's been cloned, 
you don't have to take the following steps. But if it has been tampered with, you need to do the following. You can attempt to go to facebook.com forward slash hack from any device. This means your smartphone or your computer. You can also, when you're there, you can also choose the option that describes what has happened to your Facebook account. Like someone's accessed it, and they've got many different options. But if you follow the instructions, Facebook will initially guide you through the process of trying to get access to your account. Other things that you can attempt to do if your Facebook account has been hacked is to, well, you probably need to notify your family and friends to let them know that your account may be compromised. If your account has been compromised, then your friends and family need to know because they will begin to receive strange phishing emails, which with the help of AI could look convincing and convince them to click on a link, which will result in either them getting scammed for a bunch of money or which will result in maybe their Facebook account getting hacked too. So it's very important that you let people know if your account has been cloned or hacked. Now, if your account has been cloned, you want your friends, especially if they notice that they're getting strange messages from you, to make sure that they are reporting that Facebook page so that Facebook or the authorities at Facebook maybe get an understanding that something has been accessed or something is wrong with your account. Now, what about contact? This is a tough one because I'm going to put some numbers up here of resources that you can use to contact Facebook. But truth be told, the resources that I am posting up here, including that wrong number that I just noticed up there. So that number that's here should be just 7,300. The 12, I have no idea where that came from. But anyway, if you can contact those numbers, sometimes you will get a message sometimes just saying that they're busy and to go to the online help section. You can also try to email support at facebook.com to see if anyone will help you with your Facebook account. Now, when you go to the facebook.com forward slash hack, sometimes you will have to provide some form of identification to prove that you are you. Now, if you get this from the Facebook page, it is a legitimate source and you can scan your driver's license or other ID to prove to Facebook that you are who you say you are. But a lot of times, and I hate to say this, you will get no response back from Facebook concerning your compromised account. Again, if your account has been cloned, there's really nothing to worry about. But if your account has been hacked, you want to take steps immediately to try to see if you can retrieve that account before criminals entrench themselves in your Facebook account. This also counts for business pages. If you have a business Facebook account, then criminals can access that business account through your personal account and they can send out malicious emails in the form of spam and scams to your followers in order to help or help them help themselves to the wonderful prizes that are associated with your Facebook account. Now, let's talk about prevention. So to help make sure that your Facebook account doesn't get hacked anymore, there are a couple of things that you can do to make your account not attractive to criminals. Number one, you want to go to your icon and for your profile. Then you want to go to settings and privacy. But before that, if you go to help and support, you can go to the help center, which will help you get access to uh, people or robots that can help you out. But to keep your account safe and secure, moving forward, if you still haven't been hacked, you want to go to the go to settings. Once we're under settings, then you can go to privacy checkup. And I hope this is the right section. So let's go to privacy checkup and then you want to go how to how to keep your account secure. But more importantly, you want to go to who can see what you share. And that's important because when you go to 
your who can see what you share criminals can then access your account through Uncle Google so if we click on this there's some personal information about me my city relationships current city some of these things you want to make uh, public or sometimes you can change it where it is only me here are your options public friends friends except specific friends only me or you can do a custom job on either your school your work your friends and following this is more important friends and following who can send your see your friends list on your profile you can change it where you have only me so that way no one can just Google you and find your friend list and then discover that all they need to do is to create a duplicate account and get access to your information same thing with who can see uh, let's go back who can see the people pages and list you follow again you want to change this to only me all this other stuff public you can keep public but criminals are looking for who can find out your information and who you're connected with next steps on to keep your accounts um, oh let's go back how people can find you on Facebook so let's go to that let's go to continue and then there's friends of friends there's re uh, friend requests got quite a few of them but anyway what you want is not to select everyone which means anyone on or off Facebook this means criminals can Google you find out who you're connected with and it makes your account an attractive target you want friends of friends to make sure that only people you're connected with can see who you're friends with a lot of times when it comes to social media accounts criminals will look at the friends list and then that's when they will duplicate the account but if you choose um, friends of friends or only me for the privacy settings then it's going to keep your account safe and secure one last thing I know I've been rambling on quite a bit but I want to make sure that you can at least stay safe if your account gets hacked so how to keep your account secure you can go under privacy checkup the things that you want to make sure that are on are your password is okay meaning that you've got a somewhat secure password and you've changed it recently next you want to make sure that two-factor authentication is on two-factor authentication means that you've got two forms of authentication to verify that you are who you say you are meaning it your password works and then it's going to send you a text alert or an email to verify that you are who you say you are that sounds like a Dennis Green quote but anyway last but not least login alerts you want to make sure that these are on to ensure that if someone logs in from an area that you normally don't log into then you will get an alert about it saying hey is this you if it ain't you then uh, you need to go in and change your password and some other settings so there you have it if you've got comments or questions leave me in the comment section below I know a lot of you have questions about Facebook and what you can do to retrieve that account I'll be honest with you straight up you lose your account it's a good possibility that that account is gone forever so make sure that you are prudent and taking steps before you lose your account now if you're fortunate enough sometimes you can gain access to that account but in a lot of instances once your Facebook account is commandeered along with your business pages it's gone forever forever ever <laughs> forever ever meaning you need to just start all over again so also uh, if you like this video be sure to comment like and share it I know you know a lot of people that are struggling with technology so what better way than to turn them on to a video that's gonna help them get more so there you go so with every video my goal is to make um, open you up to a whole new world of experiences and ideas I love technology I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun safe and easy to use for everyone so take care of yourself and to do and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching <laughs>